very carefully. It's to be dripping from under there onto the manifold. Okay, morning guys. So back up at the garage this morning. It's a Sunday. Uh, it's nice and sunny outside, but it's also a bit windy today, so I might have to work with the doors closed, unfortunately. But uh, what I'm going to do today um, is I'm going to crack on and break down these uh, front struts because at the moment they're really they're, you can't handle them at all because they're you know they're just so heavy to start with, but also they've got the, all the coffin arms and, and uh, tuning forks still attached. So I'm going to take those down. Um, uh, I worked on the um, steering column last night. Um, and I, I don't know, I've come to the conclusion pretty much that I need to get a, a refurbished one. So uh, they're about four or five hundred euros. And I've got to get the pipes as well, the high pressure lines, which are about 200 euros each. So it's going to be quite, a, quite an expensive job doing that, um, uh, that, that um, uh, steering uh, rack. But the thing is, with 100,000 miles on the car, it's probably going to be needing doing at some point anyway. So you know, might as well do it now while it's easy to get at. Uh, otherwise, um, I got that um, subframe done yesterday. I've got it cleaned up pretty well. Probably won't go too much further on it in terms of cleaning. It looks much better than it did. Um, but um, yeah, let's get cracking. I'm going to take the Land Rover out so I've got more space and uh, get to work. Okay, so I'm just going to start by taking the tuning fork and the coffin arms off and then or maybe actually, no, what I've decided I was going to take the caliper off first so it's all a bit lighter and then I can get started on the coffin arms. Okay, so that came off pretty easily actually. Those two bolts there, they're not torqued particularly tightly there. Uh, but now I'm, yeah, I'll set that to one side and then start on the other components. So the tuning fork is off, coffin arm is, arm is still on. It's actually quite difficult to get into there with the distance between those, you know, the, the strut and the wheel carrier. So what I've just done is I've taken off the drop link, which is that, which I'm thinking about replacing anyway. And then I'm just going to slide this out very carefully. I'm going to blow it with some air first so that I don't scratch anything. So that's the strut out. It came out pretty easy actually. I just put some oil in there just so it didn't scratch. But that's the wheel carrier now and that allows me more access to get into that to secure that or to support that uh, that pin for the for the coffin arm there because before it, I couldn't get a tool in there so this is what I was talking about um, so just getting the the tools in there so you can support that pin and actually it's just it's just come out quite nicely now and I'll be able to take that off so just taking off the hub nut now you really notice that is on there, <laughs> really on there. So I heated it up first, just in case Porsche glued it in originally. Um, put a little chock underneath the, the disc so it didn't rotate and tighten the vise up very tightly, but it's come away now. Okay, so that's got it all pretty much disassembled. The only thing that I'm yet to do is to remove the, the hub from the wheel carrier. Uh, I'll clean it up first, and then once I've done that, I'll be able to fit the new new stone chip, or, or stone guard, I should say. Um, but yeah, it's just knowing the best way to get this off. I probably need a press. A friend of mine's got a press. I'll probably, probably use that. But otherwise, those I replaced in 2017. Those were re replaced MO30 in 2016, and I think 2016 were the new new discs on the front as well. So I'll do this to the other side and then I can get to cleaning up. Okay, so I'm just cleaning up these parts here with some gunk and then I'll wash that off in a minute. And what I'm doing here is I'm just cleaning up these brake discs inside here. I'll clean those up a bit, a bit more than that and then I'll paint them again and I'm cleaning up in here as well. But what I'm gonna do while I've got them off the car is just re-drill the holes. Okay, so I've just drilled all of those holes out just on that one disc, it probably took if I did it all at one, you know, one point in time, then it would it would have taken about half an hour, I guess, because I drilled through them first of all, both sides. I didn't go all the way through directly. I just went from both sides, and then I took a uh, a mitre drill bit and then just went into all of the 
into all the holes just to clean them all up. So it's looking a darn sight better. Just cleaned it up with some brake cleaner. And what, what I'll probably do uh, when I before I put them back on the car is mask them off and then paint them front and back, try and get them uh, get them get it cleaned up in there a little bit more. But um, yeah, that's one one disc done. The rears are new, so that's quite lucky, but I've got to do the other side yet. Okay, so just a bit of an update. I've got both struts disassembled. Uh, the first one is over there. All the parts disassembled. Um, this one, not quite done. Uh, but the problem I'm finding here, basically, the brake pads have sort of back plates, resonating plates, which fit into into the pistons, brake pistons like that, and on one side they're just not coming out, so I've broken off the thin metal plate uh, which they're screwed to, luckily the screws came out and I'm having to put some uh, rust remover into there, but it's, yeah, all these things that you don't, don't quite expect, so that's the calipers at the moment. I have got the, the brake lines disassembled, but you can see there's, there's a bit of damage around there where where the steel brake line thread fused to the alloy. I'll clean that up. I might even fill that a little bit and uh, paint it black again. But yeah, I'm just sort of wondering how to get these things out here. But yeah, I'm sure it'll come out. Some touch-up work I can do here as well. But we're, we're, we're making progress. Driving up to the garage this morning and I smelt some very strong oil smells <laughs> in the cabin and then looked out the rearview mirror and I was being followed by a vast plume of smoke. So I've just pulled over. I'm about two minutes from my garage. Just pulled over and I have a, a, a ruptured something. <laughs> I don't know what. It seems to be dripping from under there onto the manifold. So I'm guessing it's some kind of a gasket, cam covered gasket or something. I'm guessing it's coming from, where are we? Sort of here. I hope it's not a cylinder head gasket, but then water would be everywhere. So quite a lot of oil there, bloody Nora. So that's fun. <laughs>